South Boston, also known as Southie, is one of Boston's most up and coming neighborhoods. Over the last couple years, there has been absolutely explosive development and tons of people moving in. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into this amazing part of Boston and go over the best restaurants, hangout spots, and of course, the real estate market. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna skip to a certain section, you can do so. I've left timestamps at the bottom of the video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel already, I would really appreciate it if you did so and you get to see more videos just like this. So Southie actually has a ton of history. This was in fact the place that George Washington forced the British to evacuate during the American Revolutionary War. It also happens to be the place where the giant St. Patrick's Day parade happens every year. There is a lot of Irish history in this neighborhood, so that is of course why that takes place here. So now that you know a tiny bit of history, let's talk about location. As you may have guessed by the name, Southie or South Boston is located south of downtown Boston. It neighbors a few other neighborhoods like Dorchester and the South End. Technically, the seaport is part of South Boston. However, a lot of people view that as sort of a separate neighborhood. It's very different, and that is sort of why I'm going to be talking about that less here, and I'll probably talk about it more in a separate video. In terms of public transportation, there aren't a ton of options from here. By far the most popular and heavily used is the Red Line. That can take you all the way down south through Dorchester, or up north again through Boston, and then up into Cambridge and Alewife. There's also the Silver Bus Line that could take you towards Boston Logan Airport if you need to catch a flight. There's a lot of things to do in this neighborhood, mostly outdoors. There's a few beaches, including Carson Beach, and there's also the Castle Island, which you can walk to through a causeway. Definitely, I would recommend go checking that out. Of course, there's a ton of little parks and fields, so if you wanna play a pickup sports game of some kind, you can do that, or just take a stroll around. For food, Capo and Lincoln Tavern are definitely the most talked about and probably the most popular, but there are a lot of other good spots as well. Due to the explosion in development, real estate prices have also gone up. You can expect places to go for about $550 to $800 a square foot, depending on the condition, with the current condo price being about $820,000 and the current single family home price being about 1.15. If you go take a look at some of the condos and single family homes in the area, you'll notice a ton of them are pretty much brand new on the inside. If you can find something that needs a little bit more work, then you could probably make some money. It would be a good investment as the prices continue to rise. So now let's talk about rentals. If you're looking for a rental in the area, this is going to be a little bit cheaper than maybe something like Back Bay or Beacon Hill, but it's still quite expensive. So a one bed is going to run you about $2,380. A two bedroom is about $3,100. A three bedroom is gonna cost you about $4,000 a month and a four bedroom about $4,700. Due to the rise in pricing, there have been a lot of young professionals moving in. It's seen as a very trendy neighborhood. So this definitely skews a little bit on the younger side. There are also families here, but again, more on the younger side. If you're young and you like being in kind of a young, lively place that's on the rise, this could be a very good neighborhood for you. If that sounds like something you would like, you can of course shoot me an email. I'll leave it down in the description below and I can help you find something. So that's Southie in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you can either email me or drop a comment down below. I try to answer all of them. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, I would really appreciate if you did that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.